By now you'll have read the blog and uh, no doubt had a look at the Lincoln site and seen all the glossy uh, photos etc. Let's show you a real world application. So this morning it was sunny all morning and then at lunchtime the weather went to hell. So the only exposure this particular lamp has had was this morning. As you can see now, it's absolutely sopping wet. I have one there. Somewhere, another one. The Lincoln lights. It has to be said that they look like they're waterproof. And in my plants, I've got some of those tiny, uh, I don't know if you can see them there, those tiny bead lights, which really peel in insignificance compared to uh, the link end light. This item here is one of very few solar lights that I've had for many years that's actually lasted. So that's what these guys are up against. We have a company in the UK called Maplin who closed a long time ago. I think they have some kind of online operation now but they closed. Can I tell you maybe 14 years ago I bought several of these. There were six pounds in UK money. They were on special discounts, which you can imagine because that's glass and that's stainless steel. And I just put them in the garden. Never thought any more about it. They've been running every day for nearly 15 years and they're now on their last legs. This one in particular, I'm about to bin because the light is really really dim. I've tried all sorts of ways of resurrecting it. Um, that solar cell there is for these little bead lights. Sorry about the focusing. Anyway, back to the link end. There it is. We'll see when it gets dark tonight whether these have actually got enough sunlight in the morning to keep them going throughout the night. This is a dark corner of our little garden area, if you like. And we have some little solar lights down there. And they just don't get enough light. Give me a second. This is a bit difficult to get to. I've shoved one of the new lights down in the corner there. As you can see again, sopping wet. Um, let's just see what that looks like when it gets dark. So that hasn't had the concentrated sunlight that the other two have, but let's see if it's any good. Okay, here we are, back out again at midnight. Pagola. And over here in the corner are the two new Lincoln lights, which actually look quite good. Um, you can see they're quite bright. I don't know if you can actually tell from the video But they are they are quite bright and this is it's nearly midnight now. They've been on since They've been on for three or four hours. They're still running flat out the two of them Very nice I'll see if I can give you a better idea of what they actually look like here it's it's going to be very difficult to show just how bright it is, especially as I've got a cat who's about to harass me. I thoroughly expect these to last the night, actually. Even though we've had no sunshine since early lunch, and it started that horrendous rain, which you can possibly tell is still having its effects there. Yep, everything's sopping wet. Yeah, these new solar lights are working just fine. Don't forget to, uh, if you if you haven't come here from the blog, check back at the blog to to put this all in context. And within seconds of that last video, everything changes because it's midnight and the main beams have turned off. What we have left, lining up the far end of the garden, are the two Lincoln lights and some light from. Uh, some of those, I forget what we call them now, but it's a very thin copper wire. 
um, and you get like two meter strands in a solar panel. Over at the other end, I have the last of my Lincoln lights, which is actually doing a great job of lighting up an otherwise pretty miserable corner of the gardens. Thankfully this morning, some sun. Well, that should keep my new little lights running tonight. Good job done.